Hello everyone, how you doing? And welcome to Escape the Maze once again. Um, really, really hope that you will trust that you're doing well out there. Um, even if you're putting one foot in front of the other, getting out of bed or doing what you're doing, pat yourselves on the back, all right? Because uh, in easy out there, we all know that. Um, but just give yourself a pat on the back, all right? Because uh, like I say, it's not easy out there at the moment. So. Uh, welcome, Davey's not here today, um, he's feeling a little bit under the weather, so he's going to take a video or two off, so I'm going to fly solo on this, just to try and get one out to you, I've got the girls here for company, Pixie and Jet, um, we put a video out, we put a video out last time, that went on YouTube, um, at the time I weren't really quite happy with it, that was, that was a little bit, um, rushed uh, there's been a bit of illness around this place everyone's been a bit up and down uh, i just tried to get something out there and i weren't quite happy with it so i pulled it off youtube um because it just weren't good enough for you people out there um we're here to add clarity to the situation what's going on and not muddy the waters in any way and i just think that just like i say it weren't good enough but in that video if anyone watched out there me and david were talking about um Given our stories, our awakening, our, our remembering who we were and taking on the journey of that, uh, it's a really complicated thing to do, to be honest with you. It's a lot harder than what you'd, what you'd, what you'd uh, imagine at the moment. But I did, there was a lot what goes into that. Um, so I thought it was a really good idea, though, to do that. So that, that's sort of like an in interviewing type thing. But before we get into the stories of, of us and what happened to us in our past... What we have to do is get some fundamentals down. If not, we're going to lose a lot of you people on that journey because say that we're over here on this journey, we're going to go back all through what we call the gates and we'll explain what the gates are at a later date to come through them to start to go back into the world of what you term as the world um, where all the mass live, where we live uh, our daily lives um, in the artificial world. So... We've got to go back through the gates to connect to people within that world um, to drag them out of that world and onto the journey of remembering who they are as uh, spiritual um, sentient beings. Um, so we're gonna, I'm going to have to do a little bit on this whiteboard just to get the basics down because if I start using terminology, what I'm going to be using and you ain't got the fundamentals of knowing what I'm on about, I'm gonna lose you straight away on the journey, which I'm quite quite used to doing with people, but for this channel, we need to get this pinned down, you know? So <coughs> I don't wanna lose anyone on the journey. I wanna get a blanket of people all over people so that they can understand or overstand um, what we're actually trying to attempt to do here, you know? So we're gonna come back and collect a load of people, if we can collect them and bring them through. So. Um, when I was younger, and this is a part, this is a real fundamental part of my journey. When I was young, younger, I couldn't really understand why there was two words for the for the uh, where we live, this realm, um, and that's world and earth. And this is really, really important to my awakening phase. This is of really, really uh, understanding why there was two words and how it connected with my awakening uh, phase or awakening journey of remembering. So I'm gonna do a little bit on the whiteboard here just to try and explain um, the basics. And we're gonna really pick this to pieces, but just to explain the basics to you of why there is the world and why there is the earth, okay? So um, what we'll do, we'll write it all down because it's just easier that way just to show what I'm trying to what I'm trying to describe is, so we've got the world and we've got the earth, all right? Now, that's separate. There's two different places there. And now they interchange them out there, but they're not really interchangeable. The earth is one thing and the world is completely and utterly another thing, right? We have to get our heads around that because this is the real basics of where we're going on this. But that's a huge, huge, I keep saying that word, that's a massive... Uh, part of the journey right so we've got the world and we've got the earth you are supposed to arrive at the earth as a sentient 
You'll have to forgive my spelling. I'm dyslexic. Or I'm just a really bad, bad at spelling, which is a good thing when you get into it. But spiritual being. That is innocent. Not so innocent now. But where is it? Innocent. Right. So innocent just living on the earth. Okay. But what, what happens is, is that basically we are kidnapped at birth, right? So we are born, we are supposed to be in the, on the earth, but we are actually born in a world, right? And that world, what we are born in, born or birthed in, down the water canal of our mothers, right? We're born and birthed in a hospital, okay? And when we're born in the hospital, we are registered. Registered. We're registered. We're handed over. And we're given a name. Okay? And that name is our character. Character. And it's our ego, okay? Right. That is done deliberately to separate us, to kidnap us out of who and what we should supposed to be here. So we come in, but we're taken here because no one knows. Because our parents, our parents didn't know. Their parents didn't know. And the parents before them didn't know. Now, Parents, parenting, right? Right, girls, right? So the parenting, all right? So the pair, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. So the parenting delivered you unwittingly, because they didn't know, unwittingly to the system, what we will term it as a generic, generic term, the system, which is the world, the artificial world. Artificial, there's going to be some teachers out there, what I'm going to be screaming, I should imagine. So, your mum and dad, the pair renting you, delivered you, handed you over by registering you at the hospital, to the system, which is in actual fact, the world, what we all live in, and it's artificial, that world is, okay? So that's what the world is. All right, let me just go back, because it was a little bit quick, but you can go back and keep watching this. I'll do this at the top again. World, Earth, okay? Because this is basics, but very, very important on our journey about what we're talking about here, right? So, you are separated. You are separated from yourself, okay? So you can't remember this. This is you on the earth as a soul. You are there, you are born as a soul, whole. Not separated from yourself. You have full remembering. You remember who you are because all the people around you remember who they are because they all live on the earth are in communication with the earth and have sense of that earth. They're in full senses, okay? The world is soulless, has to be soulless for you to live in it, for you to be separated from that. You have been separated from yourself. You are part of yourself. You're not whole. You are... Um, you can't remember, I was going to write unconscious there, but I can't, but I'm just going to put, uh, you can't remember who you are, who you are, because you live on the, the world now, which is artificial, 
which we will term nonsense. It's nonsensing. Everything about it is artificial in that world. Everything. You have to, you have to be separated from yourself because you could not function in that world um, as a soul or you find it very, very difficult because you can see what that is because you remember what this is and you remember who you are. So this is the whole journey, the world and the earth. So when you're given, when you're given your name in their world, okay, you are, when you're registered, you become a product, right? A consumer. Consumer. Don't know, you have to bear with me. Consumer, I don't know. Consumer. Something like that. You become a consumer. Destructive. Destructive. Um, without even really knowing it, you know. But the ego. The ego has been set up within you, and that's the battle what you're all fighting inside, the right and wrong. This is right, this is wrong, and you feel that every day in your lives. Now, <coughs> because you know that you're much bigger than what you feel that you've been presented or been taken away from yourself, there's always something in there, that little niggling voice in the back of your head What's always telling you that you should be doing or that you shouldn't be living the life that you're living. Jobs, paying bills, uh, paying to live where you live, consuming food, all the laws, everything are in this world, okay? So the name uh, produces a character and you need that character to live in their world because it's got all the numbers attached to that character so that you can function within that world, um, all the while you're forgetting about who and what you are um, and that becomes, um, you're committing spiritual suicide, okay? And that gets really big, that does. I won't put that, but you get what I mean. So when you forget about who you are, the image, what you're being created with, the manifestation, what you see in their world, becomes real to you because everything else is real to you around that because everyone else is living their lives but to remember who you are and that's why we say it's a little bit painful because you look at this exactly for what it is then now i've skirted very quickly through this right very very quickly we're going to break this right down at a later date but this has to be, in a way, understood so that you can know my journey of me going back through the gates because we're going to break all of this down and go through the gates. And this is just one tiny speck of the aspect of the journey that we're going to go on. So you can appreciate that. It's a little bit difficult um, to actually get the story functioning because it is complicated to get to where we need to go. But we're going to go on this journey together and we will get this together because if I can do it, anyone can do it. Because there is, um, there is no you are me and I am you type of thing, you know. So in their world that has been produced, uh, that's where all the money is, tokens we call them tokens um, hierarchy uh, kings and queens um, kings and queens haves and have nots and all the stories uh, all the stories are in their world and we're really going to get into this right um, see this is blank all the time at the moment right so we've got that Another thing is when you're separated from yourself in their world, what they'll do, they'll give you everything in codes, but we'll get into that as well as later. Most of you will know, or I should imagine a lot of you have seen uh, the pink Floyd. This is how they code stuff. Right, 
like this. It's just quick. I'm just doing this just to get something down for you so you can actually see it. With Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon, their front cover was something like this. That's showing you what I'm talking about here, but it's in code. This is how we have to break everything down. And later on, we will break it all down from the code, what's being presented. So that's showing you that you come in whole, right on the dark side of the moon, whole light, okay? Right, you're coming in as a whole light, you. You're in their prism. Right, that's their world, okay? That's their world, it's full of their mathematics, their language, everything, all of their stories are in this prism, right? And it's designed to separate you from yourself. So you come out as fractured light, fractured light, separated from yourself, each part is separated from yourself. Each part of these, each, each offshoot is a characters, characters that you are inside of you, all the characters that you have to produce to get through your daily lives in their world. You know, you're different from, say, your boss to what you are your wife and you have, to be, you have to be many, many people within their system, right? So that's your characters and they're your egos, right? So that are fractured lights coming out, fractured lights separated from yourself. And these in actuality, these fractured lights are called hues. Okay, so hues, this is just a side note. Hues, and that's why you're called human, all right? And that's the story of the world and the earth, and this is why we're going to go back. Human is a human, he's separated from himself, he doesn't know himself, because these fractured bit of lights are called hues. You come in as a whole man, and I'll use the term man for man, woman, child, or whatever, okay? I'm just using that term before I get their uh, brigade after me. Um, so you come in as whole light, whole man, remember completely who you are. Go through their prism, their world. They're like, come out as fractured light, turned into characters, egos, all of this type of stuff. And these are called hues, fractured light. And that's why you're called human. An artificial term, same as person. Right, and we'll get into that as well. And the human is separated from himself. All right, so <coughs> as a part man, um, as mankind. A kind of man right but we're going to get into all of this but this is what you need to overstand understand on my journey of going back if not I'm going to lose you if you don't if you can't get your heads around this I'll lose you on the journey of going back and collecting you or trying to bring you forward so we can all come together and learn off each other that's a big experience what we're all going to go through but like I say if you're you're not up for it or you don't really want to find out who you are then you know go watch something on telly that um will 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 keep you in the world keep you completely asleep but um we ain't got much time at the moment because things are speeding up drastically so this is why we're trying to push this forward so um i really trust i really want you to get this part of it um take your time on it uh if you want to ask me any questions on just this bit please do. Um, I'm going to get this out on YouTube and then we're going to start my journey of going back and, and what actually happened to me. Um, but we're going to break everything down. So um, have, a, have, a, have a good one, everyone, and uh, much, much love to you. Um, and thanks for watching. Cheers. Escape the maze. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.